Hey guys, what's cracking? It's Gotti Goldman thing, um, Cole Commander thing. Whatever. Um, I highly doubt many of you guys remember that. Um, but anyways, this is a actually a wrestling discussion. The other day, um, Big Daddy V, King Mabel, Viscera, whatever you like to call him, or whatever you know him by, died of a heart attack. This is really sad for me because, um, he was, he was in WWE when I was a kid, and actually, back in early 2009, I met him at an indie show. Um, I gotta dig out my autograph that I got from him, but he was a really, really cool guy. Um, you know, it's a shame that a guy that cool and, you know, that well respected in the business just passed away. I mean, this guy wasn't a slouch or a jobber or anything. He won the World Tag Team title, the Hardcore title, and the 1995 King of the Ring. So, he had a pretty decent career. I mean, he never won the big one, but he was definitely in the title hunt a bunch of times. And, you know, he's almost won it. Like, back in his early days, in like 95, as Mabel, and 2008, in the Elimination Chamber. Um, he was definitely... You know, known for like his viscera, his romance acts, and you know King Mabel being the dominant force, and Big Daddy V being Matt Striker's, you know, guy, for for say, and um, Undertaker debuted his submission in the Hell's Gate back in really early 2008 on Big Daddy V, and like the blood would come out of his mouth. I mean, it was cool, and you know, Big Daddy V. This actually. A good part about this, like, um, about a month before he had his heart attack and died, he actually lost 100 pounds. So, I guess he went from 487 to 387. Which is good for him. Um, honestly, what I can say is I am stunned, shocked, and very, very upset over this situation. All my prayers go out to the Frazier family. His name is Nelson Frazier Jr. Um... All of us here in the wrestling community are upset. Thank you for watching.